Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to enable the Tor network system-wide on your Parrot OS system. I'm gonna be achieving this using a utility that comes with Parrot OS that is called Anon Surf. So without further ado, let's start. So this here is my Parrot OS system. And first I'm gonna show you the IP address that I have now. So if you open the web browser, so I'm gonna go to this website, it's called what is my IP and then hit enter. So you see that my IP is in Montreal and this is my ISP. Of course, I've hidden here my real ISP so that I don't put it on the internet. And also here, this is my IP. I only kept a part of my IP, but nevertheless, it shows you what is the IP now. So now if we enable the Tor network system wide, it means that all the communication that goes from this workstation to the outside to the internet will go through the Tor network and I'm going to show you how to do this. There's a utility called Anon Surf that comes with Parrot OS as I said in the introduction of this video. So if you go to applications and then hover over privacy and you have Anon Surf. So you have a GUI interface Anon Surf and you have also a command line and both of them work the same. So I'm going to open the GUI now. This is a GUI, it's really very small. Let me show you a little bit also the terminal window and how is the command in the terminal window. Let me make it a little bit bigger here. So in the terminal window here, if you key in anon surf and hit enter, it will give you all the commands that you can do. And all these commands are also replicated in the GUI interface. And I personally prefer to use a GUI interface. So I'm gonna close this one here, I don't need it. And first, you have all these options in Anon Surf. The first one is to start Anon Surf, and you have change identity, and I'm gonna show you all this. And also, it will show you what is your IP, if you wanna restart it, and so on. And you have the details. So let's start first by starting Anon Surf. So if you click on Start here, it will ask you first, do you want to kill the applications that are already running? And this is to clean the memory and everything and that all the applications, you can run them through the Tor network afterwards. So here I don't have any applications open. Careful, if you run this command and you have applications open, it will kill the applications. So make sure first to save your information and then if you want, you can close the applications before clicking on kill here. So here I'm gonna click on kill and it will ask you for your password. So put the password for the user that you are logged in with and here you see that Tor is running now system-wide. So let me open the web browser now. I'm gonna keep it here. Let me slide it here and let me open a new tab and let's go to what is my IP. So what is my IP.com and you'll notice that my IP changed completely and it is now in the Netherlands. So here, if you want to change your identity, once again, you can click on change identity and it will change the Tor identity. So let's try it. So click on change identity. So you're having a new identity. It's saying, let's give it a moment. So now if I refresh, what is my IP? It should change. You notice that my identity changed completely and now I am in Vienna. So other options in Anon Surf are the following. So first you can restart Anon Surf from the beginning. So if you click on restart here, you have to key in your password and then it will restart. And when it restarts, of course, it will give you also a new identity. You can also click on my IP and it will show you here what is your IP. So sometimes the IP is different, but nevertheless, because it goes through the Tor network through many hops, so this is why you saw it different here. And also you have something called Tor Stats. So this is to see the statistics. If you click on it, you're gonna see the statistics that are going through the Tor network. If you want to stop Anon Surf, you can also click on stop here. So it will stop the service. Let me click on stop. Let's put the password for the user that you're logged in with. And the service is stopped now. And it will ask you if you wanna kill also the application so that it will clean the cache. So I'm gonna choose kill and notice that Firefox, it will stop. So it killed Firefox. So let me start it back again. 
and let's choose kill also put the password and here it is started again notice also that you have the details option if you click on it it will open the advanced like options and here you have the option to enable the unknown surf connection at boot so if you click on enable it will ask you for your password and here you see that it is enabled at boot and now each time you restart the pc it will connect to unknown surf directly so let me show it to you so system shut down and then restart my Pirate OS is encrypted. If you want to see how I encrypted my Pirate OS virtual machine, you can look in the description for a video I made earlier on this. So now let's log back in. And you're going to notice that Anon Surf will be connected and will be connected to the Tor network directly. So now it is connected. So let's see if Anon Surf is connected. Let's run Anon Surf here. So application, privacy, Anon Surf, Anon Surf GUI. And you see it says Anon Surf is running. So here if you want to change it to disabled so that you don't want Anon Surf running each time you run your system. So click on details and disable it here. Put the password. And then hit enter. It will be disabled. Now I wanted also to tell you about the troubleshooting step in case Anon Surf was closed like inadvertently or wasn't closed gracefully, it might corrupt a file called resolve.conf, which is a DNS file. And this is how you arrange your DNS if it is corrupted. So I'm gonna close Anon Surf now. To arrange your resolve.conf DNS file, open a terminal window. In the terminal window, you need to purge resolve.conf and then reinstall it. And you can do this with one command, and this is the command to do it. So let me paste the command here because it's a little bit long. So the command, what does it do? It first purges resolve.conf and then it will reinstall it. So put the password once you hit enter after you put the command. And key in yes and enter. And also press on enter to accept rebooting the system. And here it updated resolve.conf now and we don't have the problem. So you have to reboot your system so that the resolve.conf will take effect as reboot. Simply key in reboot and hit enter and the system will reboot. So that was it for configuring the Tor network system-wide on your Pareto OS system using Anon Surf. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly. And this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you all for watching. See you on the next video.